welcome back on this uh, unit on thermodynamics and uh, in this is a sixth lecture of this unit and we have talked about uh, you know introductory basics introductions heat energy first law in last class last few classes enthalpy and heat capacity as all was discussed uh, in last class we talked about uh, enthalpy of reaction, enthalpy of formation, enthalpy of phase transition and we will continue um, enthalpy of different um, enthalpy of different processes and uh, reaction. Just to recap what we uh, studied about enthalpy of reaction, this enthalpy of reaction at a particular temperature T, we write as A i H m minus B i H m. A i and B i these are the stoichiometric coefficients for products and reactants respectively and reaction enthalpy or enthalpy of reaction, standard enthalpy of reaction or standard heat of reactions are generally should be written at a particular temperature, but in case it is not written then we can assume it to be 25 degree centigrade which is a conventional temperature. Now, you showed in the last class that we can get the same information from the enthalpy of formations as well. So, we can write A i for the products minus for the reaction at that reactants at that particular temperature where del H this term del F H naught is the enthalpy of formation for that particular species in this case reactants and products. We also talked about uh, standard enthalpy of standard enthalpy of formation. In this case one mole of any substance is formed from their reference states at that particular temperature and in standard state of 1 bar pressure. Now, I mentioned this earlier also that this standard enthalpy of formation or standard heat of formation. The enthalpy and heat for this terminology is uh, very often used uh, uh, interchangeably. So, you can always tell standard heat of reaction or enthalpy of reaction and for other processes and similarly for other processes as well. We also talked about um, a standard uh, enthalpy of phase change like uh, or phase transition like uh, fusion, vaporization, transition and uh, sublimation. We also talked about uh, Hess's law in last uh, um, lecture where basically we can uh, take advantage that del H is a state function which depends on initial and final state which we, we can break down a reaction of A to B to as many numbers uh, we want. So, if this is del R H 0 1, this is del R H 0 2 and this is del R H 0 3, then the standard 
heat of reaction for the reaction can be written as the summation of the steps individual reaction. We also talked about thermochemical equation. thermochemical equation which is a balanced chemical reaction along with the value of standard reaction enthalpy for that particular reaction and should be a particular temp particular temperature. In this case, you also discuss uh, three important things which you should be um, remembered that the stoichiometric uh, coefficients uh, represents number of moles of reactants and products. Second, that this standard reaction gives free energy is uh, an extensive quantity and for reverse reaction the value of standard reaction free energy as reaction enthalpy uh, section enthalpy would be negative of the original reaction okay, with same magnitude. So, these are the some of the things we have discussed in uh, last class and then we also solved uh, two problems. Uh, so, in this lecture we will continue what we left uh, in last uh, uh, lecture, what is that now we will we talked about formation and uh, formation as phase transitions. Now, we will talk about other process like combustion and other things. So, first thing we will talk about standard uh, enthalpy of combustion. The symbol is C H naught at particular temperature you have to and you have to write the name of the substance you are talking about. So, this is basically the heat of reaction or standard enthalpy of reaction for a combustion reaction and so, if I take a substance R 1 mole and react with oxygen and produce carbon dioxide and water liquid and all of these in their standard. So, all reactants and products are in their standard states at temperature T. Then the reaction standard enthalpy of reaction for this particular reaction at temperature T is defined as combustion standard enthalpy of combustion for that particular substance DNR. One example is uh, glucose combustion in what happens in uh, body we take this all the carbohydrates uh, which we eat very frequently it gets converted to glucose and glucose on react with oxygen do we perform a combustion reaction 
inside body to produce lot of energy which is utilized uh, by us to do other work lot of work. So, we can write glucose combustion reaction like this. gas remember we are talking about 1 mole we talked about 1 mole in case of tr transition in case of formation in case of combustion except in case of reaction we always talking about 1 mole. So, delta is uh, and these are all in their standard state at particular temperature say in this case we are not mean so we means 25 degree centigrade and so delta for glucose at 298 k is the standard enthalpy of reaction for this particular reaction at 298 k which is 2802 kilojoule. So, this is the amount of energy we obtain by burning 1 mole of glucose at uh, this temperature. This is what are uh, what is utilized uh, to, by us in doing lot of work we do. We will move to now we will solve one problem and which is uh, given here. It says uh, standard enthalpy of combustion of benzene is given. So, C benzene is given, C 6 H 6 is given as minus 3 2 6 7 kilo joule per mole and standard enthalpy of formation is given for carbon dioxide as 393 point. The standard heat of formations they are um, tabulated. So, you can get thermodynamic tables from which it is one of them uh, already so, uh, given in your book. So, you can get this uh, values for lot of substances this standard heat of formation for lot of substances from any standard textbook and it is available uh, in literature as well. So, the very this is very useful data because as I showed that this can be used for utilizing or getting estimation about the reaction uh, enthalpy for many reactions which is not uh, experimentally determinable or you can estimate if you want to get. So, these are the data is provided here. So, from that we need to find out the enthalpy of formation of benzene. So, that is what unknown here. So, we need to find out this. So, what is we will do the combustion reaction of benzene. So, as like other combustion reaction 1 mole combustion so if you want to find out uh, uh, the heat of combustion we always deal with 1 mole of substance. So, we can write the combustion equation as this this is a re this is a combustion reaction and because we are dealing with 1 mole of benzene. So, the standard enthalpy of reaction for this particular reaction is what we define as standard heat of combustion for this particular substance liquid. So, this is the heat of reaction for these reactions which also named as combustion reaction you can write um, heat of reaction which is given by uh, summation of delta H formations of the uh, products 
minus this is what we uh, discussed uh, several times uh, in last two classes reactants. These are the soil symmetric coefficients which is the number of moles of reactants and products. So, in case of reactants this is 1 15 by 2 and for products is 6 and 3. So, we can now just replace this term with the numbers in this equation. So, this value is already given as minus 3 2 6 7. I am not writing the units to make it uh, just to just to make it our life easier, but you should always write the units is equal to uh, for product. So, 6 into the value of heat of formation of carbon dioxide that is minus 393.5 plus 3 into heat of formation of water which is minus 285.8 minus heat of formation of benzene which we do not know C686L minus 15 by 2 heat of formation of oxygen gas in its standard state. Now, again as I discussed this is a reference state of oxygen at this uh, condition. So, the value is 0 for heat of formation of oxygen. So, we need to from, so this is this term is 0. So, from this 4 terms we can get uh, the value of heat of formation of benzene and you can rearrange and solve this and you will find that it is coming around 49 kilo joule per mole. So, here you can see that if you know the heat of formations of the reactants and products you can get the heat of reaction or enthalpy of react standard enthalpy of reactions for any of the reactions uh, involved. And just remind that mm, just reminder that enthalpy of formation for the compounds or substance in their reference state is uh, as 0. So, we talked about enthalpy of standard enthalpy of combustion. Now, we move to next uh, process which is atomization. So, we will talk about standard uh, enthalpy or heat of atomization. And the symbol is uh, delta a t 0 or sometimes is just a it is written. Atomization is a process where it is a dissociation of a substance. So, atomization is equals to dissociation of a substance into gas phase atoms. So, if I want to write uh, in terms of uh, a equation. So, in species solid, liquid, gas whatever may be in physical form 1 mole again in their standard state at particular temperature to the corresponding atoms in gas phase. Again I am not writing repeatedly this in their standard states and then 
at a particular temperature T and the reaction gives energy for this particular process is known as the heat of atom standard heat of atomization or standard enthalpy of atomization. Example, if I take hydrogen gas to gas atoms in gas phase so corresponding heat of reaction for this process which is also equals to the heat of atomization of hydrogen gas in this temperature. Four thirty five kilojoule per mole. Talk about sodium in solid to sodium atom in gas phase. The standard heat of reaction for this process is again the heat of atomization of sodium solid value is four point kilojoule per mole. So, we will move uh, to uh, our next problem now is the time this question 12. What do we need to find out? The heat of atomization of standard heat of atomization of methane at a particular temperature say 298 K or 25 degree centigrade. This is what you need to find out supplied. the heat of formation of each atom in gas phase, carbon in gas phase and CH 4 in gas phase R two eighteen. 716.7 minus 74.8 kilojoule per mole all at 298k. So, these are standard heat of formation values for these are supplied. So, we need to find out what is the standard heat of atomization for methane molecule methane gas. So, the reaction we need to find out. So, we need to find out delta H standard heat of reaction for the following reaction atomization reaction which is from the species to their atoms in gas phase. So, we can use the Hess's law and find out from this formation reaction to find out the value of heat of reactions for this particular equation. We can write the heat of formation for hydrogen atom, carbon and CH 4. So, we can write start with CH 4. So, C graphite plus 2 hydrogen gas CH 4 gas the value is given minus 74.8 I am not writing the delta H not value and the unit again. For the second case which is the carbon gas carbon atom gas its formation again it will be from graphite that is the element in standard state a reference state carbon gas the value is 716.7 and for hydrogen atom in gas stage reference state is hydrogen gas. So, this is here the formation reaction and the 
heat of reaction for this is 218. So, my the, the reaction of interest is uh, this one the atomization of methane. So, methane is in product. So, I can leave this uh, reaction 1 as such, but in this case uh, the carbon gas and hydrogen atom gas is on product side. So, we can reverse this and multiplied by 4 for 4 hydrogen atom this reaction to get the final reaction. So, what we will do? We can take reaction 1, we need this in reactant. So, we will multiply by minus 1 plus we take this reaction, this should be in gaseous form in product. So, we leave that. So, 2 into 1 plus this again will be products, but in this is 4. So, we have to multiply it, the reaction 3 into 4 and then if we add this will cancel out. So, which will give us the if we do this we will find the reaction C H 4 gas to C gas plus 4 H gas. So, the heat of reaction for this particular may be obtained from this. So, delta I atomization of C H 4 gas will be given by minus 1 into del H formation of F of C H 4 plus 1 into del H formation of carbon gas plus 4 into del H formation of hydrogen atom gas, which will come as 1663.5. This will add these numbers, it will come out to be sticking kilojoule per mole. So, again utilizing the heat of formation values and using Hesse's law, we can find out uh, the heat of reactions for any other uh, processes. For example, in this case we found out uh, the heat of reactions for atomization process, which is nothing but heat of atomization for the methane, methane gas. Now, we will talk about uh, bond enthalpy. Bond. So, we know chemical reaction is basically um, formation and breaking of bonds. So, bond breaking plus bond formation. In bond breaking case energy is supplied. So, energy is uh, given, energy is required and bond formation always uh, result in energy release. So, energy is released uh, for this case. So, if you talk about uh, in thermodynamic terms, the Q would be positive here because the system requires some energy and in this case Q would, Q would be negative. If you do in a constant pressure, del H would be positive here, del H would be negative here. 
Now, we, we can talk about two things when you talk about bond enthalpy. One is uh, bond dissociation in an enthalpy, in enthalpy, bond dissociation enthalpy and second thing is uh, average or mean bond enthalpy. Now, bond dissociation enthalpy is uh, the is again if I write 1 bond dissociation enthalpy is <coughs> excuse me bond dissociation is the change of change in enthalpy when again one mole okay in this case also we are talking about one mole of covalent bond bonds of a gaseous covalent compound covalent compound is uh, broken broken to form products in gas phase okay not any other phase but in gas phase so if you talk about uh, diatomic molecules first let's talk about uh, di atomic molecules first diatomic molecules like examples we have given hydrogen gas so this is the 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 bond dissociation enthalpy is a in change in enthalpy when one mole of covalent bond in a gaseous covalent compound in this case hydrogen gas is a gaseous covalent compound we are taking one mole one mole and is broken into products in gaseous phase so in this case the products which is hydrogen atom is also in gaseous phase so this is the bond dissociation energy for or sorry bond dissociation enthalpy for hydrogen gas so we can write uh, hydrogen hydrogen bond bond dissociation enthalpy which is given by the value is this now this is the same value for the standard enthalpy of atomization because this is exactly atomization reaction for hydrogen gas so for diatomic molecules in gaseous phase see the di molecule atomic molecule in gaseous phase the standard enthalpy of atomization is equivalent to the bond dissociation energy for that particular substance this is true for diatomic molecules which are at gaseous phase now we'll talk about polyatomic uh, molecule now in case of polyatomic molecules the bond dissociation energy is uh, if you talk about say ch4 now if you talk about there are four ch bonds here the bond dissociation enthalpy for these four ch bonds are um, if you talk separately ch 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 they will be same but 
when you dissociate you will dissociate one after one. So, as a result this C H bonds enthalpies will have different values. So, we will get a mean value for all this bond enthalpy. So, for C H 4 gas if we consider that all the bonds are broken and you get the product in gas phase. Then this is the reaction standard enthalpy of this particular reaction which is also known as the standard heat of atomization for methane in this particular case which has a value of 1665 kilojoule per mole. You can consider the bond energy for a bond average or mean bond length, mean bond enthalpy for this molecule C H 4 as one fourth of this particular value. We might just elaborate little bit if how the uh, individual uh, molecules. So, if you take uh, CH4 and get, I am just not writing the gas and all this thing, make it um, short. So, you have to remember this is all in gas phase, I am not writing just to make it uh, simpler. This is uh, 427 kilojoule per mole and next C S 3 to C H 2 H this is 439 this is 452 and so all the 4 one we removing one after one which one we breaking one after one this all have different values. So, all the 4 bonds have different standard uh, bond dissociation enthalpy. So, mean bond enthalpy for this case mean bond enthalpy standard value of course, in uh, CH 4 gas is given by delta C H is half one fourth of this atomization reaction total overall atomization reaction of C H 4 gas. half of 1665 approximately 416 kilojoule per mole. Now, mean bond enthalpy for some bonds, uh, uh, we talk about same bonds in different compounds like carbon hydrogen bond in different compounds like methane or ethane or methanol or ethanol, they could be slightly uh, variable the value could be slightly variable when you compare the same bond in different compounds. Now, what we will do we will talk about uh, next uh, at ok del we have talked about this uh, bond uh, dissociation enthalpies and then mean bond enthalpies. Now, some gas, gas phase reaction uh, especially we, we talked about that uh, any reaction enthalpies uh, can be obtained from um, obtained from 
delta f uh, formation values of reactants and products. Now, some cases this these values especially in gaseous uh, phase is not uh, available the delta H formation for some cases is not available. Then this uh, mean bond enthalpy or the bond dissociation enthalpy come, um, come handy to get the uh, reaction enthalpy or standard enthalpy of reaction. So, if you consider a gas phase reaction. we can write just general form reactants to products that is our reaction. Now, what we can think of this instead of directly reactants and forming uh, our products, reactants bonds are broken into the atoms in gas phase and then form those atoms in the gas phase product is formed. So, we can write two different we can break this into two different uh, reactions one is uh, the reactants two atoms all in gas phase I am not writing gas phase again and again. Now, in this case it will be the summation of the bond enthalpy because reactions are getting broken into the gas phase reaction that is what we defined uh, the bond energy. So, if you look at the bond dissociation enthalpies where a molecule is broken into the gas phase product. So, in this case we can write this as the summation of bond enthalpies of the reactants. Now, we can talk about take these same atoms in gas phase and make products from this. So, in this case it is a reverse of bond dissociation enthalpies. So, in this case the standard enthalpy of reaction this would be reverse. So, negative of bond enthalpies of summation of bond enthalpies of the products. So, now, if we add this to um, reaction then this intermediate cancels out. So, we get back our reactions from reactants to product. So, the delta H r the standard heat of reaction now can be obtained from summation of the bond enthalpies of reactants minus summation of the bond enthalpies of products. So, if we know the values of all the react the bond enthalpies of the individual reactants and bond enthalpies for all the products, then we will be able to from the values for this we can able to get the enthalpy uh, standard enthalpy of the reaction for this uh, for our uh, reaction of interest. This is very useful for chemical engineers when they estimate the uh, reaction enthalpy or standard enthalpy of reaction they can get the data from bond enthalpies. Now, we will talk about the next process which is uh, enthalpy enthalpy of solution or heat of solution and uh, the symbol is uh, solution H naught. So, the process is uh, solute 
again 1 mole to solution in specified amount of solvents. So, if you have different amount of solvents, the value of this uh, delta R H for this reaction which is known as delta enthalpy of solution could be different if we use different amount of solvents. For example, if we take example of HCN gas, if we dissolve in 25 moles of H2 liquid, then uh, we get a solution and delta R uh, standard heat of reaction for this reaction is minus 72.3 kilojoule per mole. And if we take HCl gas and 40 H2, 40 moles of H2, we get another solution where the value is uh, 73.18 kilojoule per mole. And if you take gas, this is gas plus infinite amount of H 2 O. We will explain what is infinite amount of H 2 O means. We write H C L in aqueous state which is given by 75.14 kilo joule per mole. Now, when you are talking about infinite dilution means if we add, if we have a solution where if we add further solvent and we found there is no change in heat or there is no heat chain associate for dilution, then we know we have reached a sort of infinite dilution. So, if you find that no change or no exchange of heat uh, associated with dilution, heat if we add uh, uh, further solvent in this case H 2, if we find that is no change in uh, the delta H value, then we call this is a infinite dilution. In this case sometimes these are in these two cases these are called uh, differential heat of solution or uh, enthalpy of solution and in this case we call sorry in this case we call integral heat of solution and in this case uh, we talk about differential heat of solution, but that is not uh, of your uh, topic uh, is not part of your syllabus. So, we will talk about heat of solution and uh, and that will depend upon the amount of solvent we use. For ionic compounds little uh, we, we need uh, is basically little special for ionic compounds uh, for ionic compounds. So, we take simple A B as solid and now uh, A B um, salt will be uh, the it will be constituted by some ions and the constituent uh, ions uh, are uh, in ordered state when they are in solid form in uh, ordered uh, crystal lattice. So, if you do a dissolution process, then what will happen? The ions will be solvated solvated be surrounded by solvent molecules when they are in um, solubilized in a solvent. Now, typically we use a water as a solvent then we can call it, uh, uh, this as a hydrated and we can write a q as a aqueous uh, medium as a solvent. Now, to get this uh, if we use solvent is water. Now, we can get this uh, value indirectly uh, like uh, we explained earlier. So, this is a delta solution standard heat of solution when we have the dissociated ions in solvated or hydrated in this case, we can get into the ions in gaseous form plus 
why I am writing plus this minus gaseous form and then we can solve it or hydrate this to get into solution. So, this is delta H uh, lattice energy and this is hydration standard heat of hydration and this is standard heat of uh, standard lattice energy or standard enthalpy of uh, uh, in the lattice. So, for uh, um, most of the ionic compounds delta uh, solution is a positive value because you have to apply or you have to supply lot of energy to basically dissociate uh, these ions from or separate the ions in, in a lattice. So, basically generally we increase uh, uh, with increase with increase in temperature in temperature uh, the solubility uh, goes up because it is a endothermic the solution process is solubilization process in endothermic solubility uh, goes up increases. Now, the ionic compounds compounds to ions in gaseous state gaseous state this enthalpy of reaction the standard enthalpy of reaction is called lattice standard lattice energy for one again for one mole of ionic compound. So, if A m x is my general structure one mole if I take in gaseous state plus x minus in gaseous state then the delta R h naught or standard heat of reaction for this process will be the lattice in enthalpy for m x. So, for example, we can take uh, N S C L solid, we can talk about N A plus in gaseous state plus chlorine minus chloride gaseous state delta R H for this reaction which is So, that is the lattice enthalpy for NaCl. Now, we can indirectly we, we do not we will we will get uh, we can get this uh, uh, experimental value of lattice enthalpy the experimental value experimental value of uh, lattice enthalpy can be uh, are obtained generally are obtained from obtained by using a cycler reaction called born Haber cycle which is a closed path of transformation starting and ending at same point at the same point and one step in this cycle in the cycle is of which 
of this cycle is the formation of solid compound from a gas of widely separated ions. So, we will take example of KCL in this case, KCL. So, our lattice energy would be KCL solid 2 K plus gas plus C L minus. Now, we can start with a KCL solid and then first we move to corresponding dissociated steps. So, this is basically reverse of the formation reaction. So, this is minus del H f of K C L solid because these are the reference states for constituted elements of K C L and the value for this process would be 437. I am not writing the units once again. Now, K solid would be now transformed to K gas. So, it will be the sublimation enthalpy of K solid which is value is 89 and chlorine will be again dissociate to chlorine atom gas. So, it will be half of dissociation energy of chlorine gas which is 122. Now, this K gas will be converted to say K plus gas. This is this is reaction standard reaction enthalpy for ionization enthalpy value is 418 and it will take up a electron to form chlorine gas. So, it is electron gain enthalpy delta R H is electron gain enthalpy the value is 349. From here we can form. So, this is the ions in gaseous phase. So, reverse of the this reaction. So, we get minus of lattice of KCL. So, this is a cyclic process. So, the total del H for this process cyclic process should be 0. So, now we can add all this value to get the value for this unknown. So, this is known as born Haber cycle. So, using this basically you are talking about a cyclic process with this we can get the value for uh, this. So, we can just write 437 you can add these numbers 89, 122, 418, minus 349, minus this del lattice H 0 of K C L. So, from there you can get this value to be 717 kilo June per mole. So, with this I will stop uh, in this lecture. So, this basically mostly cover the thermochemistry part and next class I will talk about uh, 
at uh, the uh, other rest of the part of your thermodynamics uh, unit which is talked about the criteria for spontaneity for different processes we just talked about. 